Channel Sports Central, I'm going to be going over a college football game preview over the 2019 Sugar Bowl between number five Georgia and number seven Baylor. This should be a really good game here. Of course, Baylor has been uh, a very big surprise team this season, no doubt. I mean, Baylor, I did expect them to have a pretty good season. I thought they'd finish probably third or fourth in the Big 12, but they've really exceeded mine and many people's expectations, and they're now sitting in a New Year's Six Bowl. Meanwhile, Georgia, I mean, coming off of a very tough SEC championship loss to LSU, um, it'll be interesting to see how they're able to um, work in this one. I mean, coming off that game, you lose a lot of momentum, that's for sure. They lost to them 10-37. to Baylor also lost to 6, Oklahoma 23-30 to in the Big 12 Championship game as well. Some key stats from these games. For Georgia, Jake Fromm, 20-42 for 42 to 25 yards and one touchdown in that game against LSU. As for Baylor, they had Ebner, and he was their top wide receiver. He had two receptions for 84 yards and a touchdown along with that. And it does look as if Charlie Brewer will be playing in this game against Georgia. That is going to be huge for this Baylor team. This game is going to be on Wednesday, January 1st, New Year's Day, 8.45 p.m. Eastern Time in New Orleans, Louisiana. Spread currently says Georgia by 6. ESPN FBI is also saying Georgia 70%. So it's, those two are expecting it to be more um, sided towards Georgia. Vegas is saying that it's going to be close, though. 29-27 to 27 is what that's predicting and for Georgia to win that one as well. Here's your stack comparison for this game. Points per game for Georgia, 31.2. 12.5 points a lot per game. They get 220 pass yards a game, 189 rush yards. And as far as yards allowed, they get 198 pass yards allowed, and they allowed 75 rush yards. So this is a very, um, very uptight, very tough rushing defense that Georgia has here. And for Baylor, they will not be able to rush much on Georgia. They're going to need to rely on Charlie Brewer quite a bit in this game if they're going to win it. As for Baylor, 35.2 points per game as well as 19.3 points allowed per game. 256 pass yards, 174 rush yards, and as far as yards allowed, 214 pass yards and 142 rush yards. So overall for Baylor, like most Big 12 teams, they've got a really good offense, but their defense is not as good. I mean, they do have a pretty good defense considering it's the Big 12. They only allow 19 points a game, uh, but then again, that is the Big 12. Both teams coming into this game are 11-2. Here are your previous five games for these teams as well. Once again, Georgia did lose to LSU. They did beat up Georgia Tech, though, pretty well, 52-7. That was a very good win there. Of course, I mean, Georgia Tech, then again, they are a pretty terrible ACC conference team. Uh, but 52-7, that is a really uh, dominant win there. They also beat Texas A&M, 19-13. They beat 12 Auburn by a touchdown, 21-14. And they shut out Missouri, 27 to zip as well. So Georgia coming into this game, I mean, they had a ton of momentum until they lost to LSU in the way that they did. But overall, I think that Georgia is still a very good team. And I think if they can keep that uh, streak going that they had throughout November, I think they should be just fine in this game. As for Baylor, they've had a more of a tougher stretch. Uh, they did lose to Oklahoma in overtime in the Big 12 Championship. They did beat Kansas 61-6. to and let me tell you, Kansas is no blowover team this year. I know Kansas isn't very good, uh, but they are certainly improved. And to have a win on the road like that, 61-6, is really uh, is very convincing. They also beat Texas by two touchdowns, 24-10. They lost to Oklahoma uh, the first time off of a big comeback by Oklahoma, if you remember that, 31-34. Uh, then they beat TSU in three overtimes, 29-23. And kind of looking at this, this is how I kind of look at stack comparisons a lot. How, would Georgia beat TCU in three overtimes or would they completely dominate them you gotta ask yourself that I mean I think that Georgia would completely destroy TCU and for Baylor they were not able to quite do that they had to go into three overtimes against them uh looking at Oklahoma do you think Georgia would be Oklahoma I personally think that they would especially in the way that Oklahoma performed today against LSU I mean Georgia is a pretty high caliber SEC team so you gotta consider that as well uh, so overall I mean so far through the stack comparisons Georgia overall is the better team Here's some key points. Charlie Brewer, once again, will be playing for Baylor. Motivation will be huge for Georgia. That is a huge factor in this game, as it is with most bowl games. If Georgia is not motivated, Baylor's going to take advantage of that easily. I mean, you also got to consider, Georgia did get knocked out of the playoffs to an Oklahoma team, which they probably feel didn't deserve it. Meanwhile, Baylor uh, does have two losses, both to Oklahoma. So you got to consider that, too. Both teams do like rushing the ball. Uh, that's for sure, but Georgia only allows 75 rush yards per game. So for Baylor, that's going to be a very tough um, defense to run on. So how would each team win? I'd have to say uh, for Baylor, they need to be able to rush on Georgia. If they can break Georgia's very tough 
rushing defense, I think Baylor will be fine. If they can get a good 150, 200 yards of rushing on this team like they have been all season long, I think Baylor will be just fine. But I do not see that happening. I think that Georgia ends up winning this game. I think the motivation, once again, it'll be a, it might be a little bit of a slow start for Georgia. Baylor might score first. It would not shock me to see that happen. Um, but I think that Georgia in the end pulls away and they win it by a field goal 27 to 24. Uh, once again, though, I would not be stunned at all to see Baylor win this one. But kind of, I mean, especially looking at the game against L with LSU and Oklahoma, if those two teams represent their conferences in the college football playoff, LSU absolutely destroying Oklahoma shows that at the SEC is a much, much better team than, or uh, they are a much better conference than the Big 12. And I mean, you could argue, uh, then again, I mean, LSU is way, way higher than Oklahoma. And there's no doubt about that. But for Oklahoma, I mean, for Baylor to lose to, lose to Oklahoma twice and then having to face a Georgia team uh, that has played well all season long, it's tough to say whether Baylor's going to be able to win here. I think Georgia ends up winning it by a field goal that once again, 27-24. I think Georgia's too good of a team at this point. I mean, once again, they did have a pretty tough loss in the SEC championship game, but that was to LSU, and LSU's looking really, really good right now. Uh, nonetheless, Georgia wins, once again wins this one, 27-24. Let me know your thoughts, though, on this game in the comments below. Let me know your, sc your score predictions. I'd be interested in looking at those. Of course, um, I always look at, or I always am interested in looking at other people's opinions not just mine. But yeah, once again, thank you all for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more bowl previews. We got about five more remaining. So you have to stay tuned for those. Thank you all for watching once again. I will see you all later.